Hey everybody, Righteous Bald Dude here, aka Billy Castillo, uh, holding the cameras, always lovely, dreaded Righteous Diva. Uh, we got a little bit of a treat for you, we're going to do something a little bit different. Normally we do reviews of stuff and, uh, you know, we have our laughs and the good time is had by all. Uh, today instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to get a reaction video. Uh, we're both big wrestling fans. I grew up on wrestling like uh, Mid-South Wrestling, uh, Houston Championship Wrestling with, you know, Paul Bosch. That's where I grew up on. And uh, we're not going to watch that today. We're going to watch something from the Attitude Era. It's the Kennel from Hell match with Al Snow versus the Big Boss Man, uh, which is generally regarded as one of the worst wrestling matches of all time <laughs> on a pay-per-view. I've never seen this. <laughs> uh, Dana has. Uh, she actually saw that with her dad. Do a little quick rundown of the story while I start the match. Okay, well, um, me and my dad, we were watching, we're, I was watching wrestling in the living room. My dad comes in, he goes, what you watching? I said, it's a pay-per-view for, a, you know, um, pay-per-view. I can't remember which one it was. Unforgiven. Was it Unforgiven? Yeah, okay, it was Unforgiven. And so, my dad's like, okay, I'll sit down and watch. I said, okay. So we're sitting there, we're watching and everything. And he says, what the hell is this? He's like, I said, oh, that's Kittle in a Cell match. And he goes, oh, my God, I can't believe that they're going there. He's got a serious face on. And it was so funny. I mean, my dad's reaction was hilarious. Don't eat an ass because he's supposed to be like a, a cop. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, because that was the thing where he cooked his dog. Yeah, he kicked his dog. You know, that's my thing about wrestling. I love wrestling. I love wrestling, not so much sports entertainment, but what kind of logic does that make? The guy killed his dog. Why not take his ass to court? You know, why? Oh, they're going to wrestle the match. That's his revenge. It's like, that's oh, you is. killed my family. You raped my goldfish. I'm going to fucking put you in a rain and work a hold for five minutes. That doesn't even make any sense. I love a head from the dog. Wow, wow, that's... that's uh. <laughs> Yeah. That's very promising. You look at Al, Al Snow looking like a schmuck. What the hell is he wearing? He's gonna wrestle in that. Yeah. Just watch. Ah, oh, Jesus. You know, probably a good idea to point to me periodically so YouTube doesn't like flag the video and like I don't get sued by like Jerry DeVitt or whatever his name is. Well, I've been putting on you, but. Yeah, you gotta do like a little bit of both, you know, because. Right now, not, nothing interesting is happening. And uh, from what I've heard from people who've seen this match, I don't think anything interesting happens you know, uh, during it. There goes Big Boss, man. Oh, that interest music. That, Rex that, Dumas. Oh, yeah. When he did that creator wrestler in SmackDown. Yeah. Uh, he created a dude who was like Rex Dumas. He was like, it, that was his name. And he was like the Big Boss Man, except he was really skinny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? See, Big Boss Man used to be the shit back in the... Back in the late 80s, early 90s. I like love that. Big Boss Man. He was awesome. That's my buddy. No, nah, but seriously, he was the shit uh, back in the uh, back in the late 80s, early uh, 90s WWF. Mm, he wore the blue shirt. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. They had that Rick Derringer song. Mm -hmm. uh, hard, serving up hard times and shit. That was the, the, the thing. Uh, serving up hard times. You know that thing? It's all on his eye. Oh. Looking like uh, Forrest Whitaker. Just wow, googly as shit. Where's the my, Force Whitaker, Force the my eye, man? Man, you see, that's the problem with Big Boss Man. You're going to tell him, I hit, hit him between the eyes, but if they're going two different directions, how do you do that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. So they got the old school blue bar WWF cage that's really short. But the announcers always try to sell it as like being 10 feet tall and stuff. And like I can fucking reach it when I'm on my knees. And it, and it got the hell of a cell around it. What the hell kind of sense does that make? Dude, turn it up. Ah, I don't want to get flagged with the commentary and stuff. Because, you know, you, them, them lawyers, them lawyers, lawyers, they're a bunch of fucking piss ants. The cell is down, the cage is up. So where's the dogs? Oh, they're going to wait till they get in the ring and they're going to bring the dog. What are you going to do? Have some... Have some Stupid asses bring him on a leash. Just watch. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, Paul Bosch is spinning around in his grave. 
He's been he's doing the spooner the spinner Rooney. Yeah, Paul Bosch doing the spinner Rooney. He was old back when we were kids. Of course he died like back in eighty nine, the year I met you. I mean, I wasn't even born yet. Stop it. So that's my thing. I mean, I mean, it's supposed to be a blood feud. And why did he wait till they get to the ring? I mean, don't you think one of them to show away from the game in the parking lot, park his car, and he start beating the shit out of him? I mean, seriously, if it's that much of a blood feud, did they share the same locker room? What What if, like, Al Snow's taking a shit, the fucking big boss man walks in there and is like, like... Fucking like, what's up? You and start like, beating him in the face with a damn roll of toilet paper. Yeah, it's like, wait, I'm not even on the clock yet, motherfucker. Wait till, wait till I punch in. So he's trying to get in the ring, he won't let him. Honey, look, look, look. Oh, there comes the motherfuckers with the dogs. <laughs> and he watch this. See, that made it sound like they was gonna be surrounded by like angry hell beasts and shit. This shit ain't like nothing. Yeah, beasts. Should I turn off the light? You think it's good like this? He can turn it off. Think it'll be all right? Oh, that's right. You got the flash. Mm-hmm. You want to look like fucking Casper. How's that look? Look good or light me on? It looks special. No, I mean, so, seriously. No, it looks good. Really. All right. But yeah, that's my thing. You know, there's like four dogs. They got, they got people holding them. So it's like, what the fuck? You can go to your mom's and get Dee get, uh, get, uh, uh, Dee Dee and Demi around there and just... So I wonder if a uh, boss man has a dog, would it be a canine? Ha! Ha! Will you stop it? <laughs> Hashtag Eden. R.I.P. Oh, I was, uh, that was, uh, growing on soon we said that. We always say that to Bobby Eden. The Rottweilers? Seriously? They barely look... They look at it, seriously, they got they like, like no They look like men pins, man. No, they look like, seriously, they look like men pins and steroids. Demi and Didi. Is that a brownie sheet? Yes. What the fuck is already full? He's hitting the cage with it. What the hell kind of... Why don't you wait until he sticks his hand in here and fucking hit him in a pinky? Oh, I hear the barking. This is like... I wonder, which is worse? This Hell in a Cell match between the two of them or the Hell in a Cell match with Undertaker and Boss Man? I actually think this may be a little worse, but at least that one had some actual... All right, that's nausea inducing. I'm not just talking about you can see his ass. I mean, like the the camera angle. Jesus, what the fuck is the point of this? It says they're holding that back by a leash anyway. Why, why even bother with the blue bar cage? There. Oh, seriously, the dogs are like barking. Hey, look at this shit. The dogs are paying more attention to each other than, than anything else. Hey, it gets better. Better or worse? Well. Oh. Better in the worst kind of way. Fuck, the worst in the better kind of way. That's all perspective. <laughs> okay. He's climbing a cage and he's doing like fuck nothing. Oh, because he didn't want to get bit by the dogs. Yeah. Get it now? Yeah, I think so. You know how dead the crowd is? The dead and boss man is now. Oh, shit. Too soon. Too soon? I can't believe he's gone still. I know. Still. What do you expect him resurrect? Like No, but I mean like it's I'm been a big so boss man, Rick Grimes. <laughs> no, but I mean like because he's, Carl. he's been gone for so long, you know, like no, four. I think he died as the same year as my Hercules. I'm serious, Hercules Hernandez. Mm-hmm. That was the actual wrestling move. Fuck, that just added a half star, and that just took it away. Fuck. They're, they're seriously, they're, 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 they
Like, he, he can barely think anything to say because this is so weak. You know, knowing what we know about headshots now, this is actually kind of sickening to watch. You're like, what? Yeah, just ask Benoit. Damn it, I was about to say it. Make a Benoit joint. Jo joint? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Blade in the air? Or do you bust him hard way? It's a forehead. You don't bust him a hard way in the forehead. Never mind. I ever noticed that? Fucking guy gets like, like fucking smashing the cheek with a fucking sledgehammer and his forehead bleeds. Like, really? Yeah. Like the only reason why the wrestlers wear tape in their hands? I mean, did anybody ever think about that? Why is this guy wearing tape? He's got fucking... And see, you can tell you can tell which wrestlers had money. Because he's like Macho Man Randy Savage. He had that good ass, uh, like the surgical tape and shit. Fucking jobbers had fucking scotch tape. <laughs> and the end of the scotch tape, a little fucking plaid thing at the end. <laughs> so he's peeling the cage off, of the top of the cage off, which defeats the whole purpose of a fucking cell in the first place. And he hits him in the nuts with a fucking bat. And the bat breaks. It is a bat, right? It's a piece of balsa wood or some shit. And you know this is a dead ass crowd and the guy fucking breaks a weapon on him. And it can give two shits. Pliers? You fucking seriously pliers? Really? Pliers? And, and, and you know the temper is if wrestling wasn't worked. Oh shit, he's got Iron Sheik's cocaine stash. Oh shit, he got the shit out the evidence room. It's like, ah, oh, that's a good time. Someone call fucking Clarence Boddicker. Tigers are playing tonight. Never miss a game. <laughs> In this case, he never misses a fight. Oh shit! Look at this shit—a cop covered in cocaine and blood. This is like fucking New York undercover if it would have been on fucking HBO. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad shit. This is an outtake. Fucking like Jesse Pinkman's gonna say, "Fuck, bitch." And he does it to Hank. Hank. Oh yeah, it's the big boss man is like Hank 1.0. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God dang it! Look at this schmuck. It's fucking terrible. This is like the least high impact bloody match I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, seriously. It's like usually we send someone to the cage, it's like, oh shit, that fucking hurt. This thing is like, it's a fucking marshmallow world and this shit. Just falls in the marshmallow fucking, world? That really? Christmas song? Yes. Now look, the dogs are fucking. The dog's not fucking sniffing a dude's crotch. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck? The whole thing was built around the dogs, and it's like, the dogs can give two fucks. They're like, they ran out of fucks to give. You know, I just realized I'm gonna have to make this an unlisted video. What? See, mom heard this shit. She would raise a big load of shit, because she'd be like, shouldn't do so much cussing. I'm just like, oh, it's my video. Fuck. Oh. like a damn sailor yourself. I know, right? Nah, hell, it's not a limit. Oh shit, four fans actually cared enough to boot. That's not was like the world's most half-hearted boot. They probably told them to boo on cue. That's like when he announced Matt Kemp to pinch it. <laughs> oh, seriously, a shovel. There's no handle on the shovel. So just... <laughs> I gotta admit, the sound's pretty cool, but... <laughs> no comment. Because if your comment's mean and nasty, you probably need to go see a doctor. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> okay, I think we just lost a few subscribers. Oh, shit. There's some, it's pepper actually, steak? Pepper steak, really? Oh, that's wrong because pepper steak is like a the Japanese dog? dish and yes. shit. It's Korean, you dumb fuck. And it's cats. Oh shit, they went another subscriber. You know, I'm just talking about the stairs, uh, stereotype. I'm not, I don't. You seriously trying to kick him that handcuff, really? The guy ate your dog and he's sitting there like a fucking bitch. If you let the, if you open a fucking cage, the dogs will still do nothing. This is seriously like the laziest fucking dogs I've ever seen since like Marmaduke. Uh, no, seriously, Marmaduke's got to be the laziest fucking dog. This dog's big as fuck. It's like, it's all fucking docile. It makes like fucking Ladybird from King of the Hill look like fucking Cujo. <laughs> <laughs> Ladybird. <laughs> Dang it. 
This is how you know a match is dull and I'm fucking talking about the fucking dog from King of the Hill. It's fucking boring because this is like awful. Seriously, like nothing's fucking happening. You know what's bad? He's bleeding. Remember, Bossman had diabetes. That's what part of what causes his heart attack. I wonder if this match kind of sped it along. Because uh, it's killing uh, my interest. Both men are, have been busted here. Both men have bled and there's head. Head. You know, so never mind all those fucking, fucking weapons and fucking shovel and shit. Fucking, a fucking mannequin head does more damage than anything else. You know, I just like, have you ever wondered when someone gets to a fucking turnbuckle? And does a turnbuckle move? If he misses, it hurts. But when he lands on the guy directly, it's fine. My thing is how, in what, what universe does landing from like seven, six, eight, whatever many feet up do more damage if you land on padding than it does on bone? I know, right? But don't forget, this is wrestling. It's like when you saw a guy in half, if the fans clap in unison, he'll magically, re, you know, put himself back together like a fucking starfish and, like, win the match. But it's got to be done in unison. And he got to chant his name. Yeah, this time something bad happens so they turn on the fucking match. And he's... So is that it? Is that it? Seriously, that was it? Just watch. Wait, you mean it's not over? They already, the match already fucking ended. I know, but... Uh, seriously, the camera's like barely on the dogs the whole time. I forgot they were there for a minute. Uh, it's, even, it's bad. I, I wonder if that was a shoot comment. You were talking about the Mason saying that the dogs didn't even do anything, which they didn't. Oh, he's, he's, he's gonna, uh, the dog's gonna attack the boss man. Yeah, I don't even think the dogs are actually okay. There you go. They're just fighting. Is that shit in the ground? Yep. The dogs actually shit. <laughs> yes. There is an actual shit on the ground. A single <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> the fuck is this? I noticed they're very careful not to show the dogs on camera. Why? Because it's like the, who knows what they were doing in between the men? They barely they seriously they barely showed they barely showed it. The dude fell! This sad yeah, motherfucker he fell! He fucking fell in his ass and he's a fucking shop master. Alright. Well I gotta say something. I'm actually kinda disappointed. I was expecting something bad to happen, like the fucking boss man would have shit himself or Al Snow just like he gets like fucking like I told you just pay attention to the dogs he you know did, fucked so. by the damn dogs but I mean, they barely showed the dogs in the match you couldn't really see them you know, like, we saw them fight I mean we saw that they barked at each other and seriously nothing happened during the, the whole dog, thing the dog just took a sh- that's exactly my point the dog took a shit on the yeah I, I saw on the, the shit floor. In the my dad made a joke about the dogs fucking Oh, see, I thought that that would have been actually interesting. <laughs> they all appear to be male dogs. But yeah, my dad. I'm the alpha dog, about- bitch. I'm the alpha bitch, bitch. Wait, what? Well, I say this. I grew up on wrestling. You know, I've been. You and I have been to several house shows together. A SmackDown taping with the same SmackDown taping that Al Snow beat The Rock in, and he beat him clean too. I was like, what the fuck? Al Snow beats The Rock. I fell down the damn stairs. Oh, yeah, when you fell down the damn the damn stairs and you almost fucking did a header over the balcony and it would have been R.I.P. you. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was pretty fucked up. What? You made it. Here, here you are. But it's funny that building's a church now. It's Lakewood Church. They, damn, this, I could retroactively sue Joel Osteen. You know what? Maybe for once I'll actually shell out some money. What happened to Joel and, and Vicky? <laughs> I know, right? It'd be on Inside Edition where I can do this sound like Wee! sound every time they do a stupid story. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully that was interesting. Uh, the, hopefully more interesting than the match. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the worst match I've ever seen. I mean, it's still that. It's that, bad. It's still the stuff from Heroes of Wrestling. Remember Jake the Snake? Uh, he won 21, I got 22. He want to play blackjack, I got two of those two or something like that. Yeah. Something stupid like that. You know, but that, that, this right here, I, I wouldn't say it was awful. It was more dull, but it was more, uh, 
who gives a what the fuck? I mean, Al Snow barely did anything the whole match. You noticed that. It was mainly Boss Man. And uh, 1999 Boss Man is not the same Boss Man he was in 1991. We fought up against the Barbarian in one of the best matches uh, pre-2000s. Uh, My personal opinion, but it's a four-star match ahead of its time. Guys kicking out of finishers. Fucking ending in a match is the fucking Barbarian 300-pound dude. Does a flying body press and the boss man and the boss man rolls through and fucking pins him. It was like a fucking, it was a fucking, uh, I wouldn't say a cruiserweight type uh, ending to a match, but it was more something you would see like in a Bret Hart or or a Shawn Michaels style match. Yeah, like that. And this is a fucking two Haas match, uh, Haas man, you know, doing that type of shit. Anyway, guys, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, no, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm sorry. We'll catch this in the next thing when we do like a food review or something. Uh, if you're reading from the blog of doom, hey everybody, uh, hey uh, Oprah, whatever name it is that told me to do the Inferno match. That's coming next time. Uh, anybody, peace. It's pretty fun.